Natisha Gill says she got the call on May 4th. She said something's going on with him. He's scared. He needs help. Can you go get him? They live in Warner Robins. He was down on Lennox. So I told her I wasn't feeling well, I'll call him an Uber. Things were quickly escalating. As she called her husband, she had no idea that would be the last they'd speak or that she would be on the phone with the officer who would fatally shoot him. I didn't know he was a cop. He didn't identify himself as an officer. Um, he was just one of the people who ended up taking the phone when he was saying, can you talk to my wife? Atlanta police officer Lawrence Holland was working a part-time job in uniform that day. GBI reports say Holland was near an Atlanta restaurant where Caruzzi was causing a disturbance and followed a guest into a restaurant. The report continues, says there was a fight. Caruzzi tried to take the officer's gun and was shot. He wasn't a drug user or anything. like. So the behavior that was exhibited um, May 4th, I think that took us all by surprise. Nobody knew what was going on. Um, we were all just shocked. Months later, they say they still don't know much. His family says GBI agent Joseph Clark asked them to wait 90 days. We called him last Tuesday, which was 104 days since his passing. And all he can tell us is that he has other cases he's still investigating. Um, he doesn't have a toxicology report. They say they've requested the autopsy, toxicology report, and body cam footage to know if Caruzzi had something in his system or even if he was the aggressor. It just doesn't add up. So that's why we're demanding the body cam. We're demanding the toxicology and the autopsy. Like, we just want some closure for our family. Raj was a good man. He was a good person. Um, you know, he didn't, he didn't deserve this. In Warner Robins, Kalisha Moore, 13 WMAZ News.